Hello, this is Rihanna Miles, NASA HeyCast Digital Media Specialist. Today I want to quickly show you NASA's Giovanni. Giovanni is a flexible platform that allows a user to average remote sensing data over time, create a range of plot types and formats, compare variables, and graphically display information. I'm going to give you a basic introduction, but if you'd like a more detailed how-to, we've created a downloadable PDF version, which you can find on the HeyCast website. We link to the Giovanni site on the HeyCast Tools page. You can get there by going to HeyCast.org. Under the Tools and Resources tab, you'll find a section called Tools. If you click on that, you can scroll down and find a link to Giovanni. If you click on Giovanni, it will bring you to the home page. First, you will need to select your plot. I'd like a time averaged map. I'm interested in nitrogen dioxide, so this type of map gives the average NO2 column over my region for a selected time period. There are a few maps you can choose from. Click the details link beneath each option to see which one is best suited for your purposes. The time average map is what I'm looking for, so I'll leave that highlighted. Next, select a date range for which you would like to see data. I'm going to choose May 1st, 2016 to May 10th, 2016. You'll most likely choose a wider time period, but time average maps take a long time to run, and the larger the date range, the more time you'll wait. Expect to be waiting for at least a few minutes and possibly half an hour or so for wider ranges. Now that I've chosen a date range, I need to choose the area that I'd like data for. You can either click on the bounding box to draw a box over the area you'd like data for, or you can select the shape of the area which is useful if you're interested in specific states, countries, or oceans. I'm interested in data for Wisconsin, so I'll select Wisconsin. Next, choose the variables you'd like to map. You can filter the measurements by discipline, but I'm just going to click on nitrogen dioxide. I'll select the nitrogen dioxide tropospheric column and click plot data. Now I'll go get some coffee as my data is plotted. This is a default map that's generated by Giovanni. This doesn't show much over my region, so I will rescale the contours and color to be more informative. There we go. That's better. Now I can see the high and low values more clearly. If you'd like to learn how to do this, follow the instructions and in our written how-to on our website. You can download this data for your own use. To do so, click Download, and when prompted, choose a file format that works best for your needs. To find out more about Giovanni, including how to generate scatter plots and other visual outputs, or for more free NASA tools, how-tos, and useful links, visit HeyCast NASA Tools page. Thank you!